that Wyoming will be your new home. Life on the Red Horse Ranch. <laughs> It's the Roundup. There's some doubt in the boys' minds as to whether they're going to enjoy the Roundup as much this year. The big boss has decided to leave Alabama on the ranch until he fully recovers from his injury and to send Steve Bradford as foreman of the outfit in his place. Alabama has not yet told Mr. Carter that Steve Bradford was responsible for that head injury. Well, here's the whole outfit almost ready to hit the trail. And a bleep on from the cattle shoot press along to the big corral. He ought to be branded yeah. on his new press along to the big go round. Press along, press along, cowboy, press along, press along with a cowboy yell. Yeah. Press along, press along with a noise, big noise, press along to the big go round. The chuck we get yeah, ain't fit right. to eat. Press along to the big go round. There's rocks in the beans and, and right. sand in the meat. Press along to the big go round. Press along, press along, cowboy, press along, press along with a cowboy yell. Yeah. 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 Press along. With a noise, big noise, press along to the big come round. Press along, press along, cowboy, press along, press along with a cowboy yell. Press along, press along, with a noise, big noise, press along to the big come round. Got the motor in, the tender foot? Yes, Mr. Carter, they're all ready to go. Well, be sure there's at least eight horses for every rider. All right. There'll be plenty of hard riding before this roundup's over. Sure. We're bringing in every cow, Rusty, Maverick, and Yogi with the Red Horse brand and putting them on the market. Sure. All right, Mr. Carter. Yeah. Rose, you better stay back in the house. There's too much going on down here. Oh, but, Dad, you've always let me see the boys off on the roundup before. I won't be in the way, really. Well, I won't. all right, daughter. They should have been on the trail two hours ago. Cookie hasn't got half of the supplies in that chuck wagon yet. Oh, Dad, isn't it always thrilling? The roundup. Oh, all the boys seem so happy and excited. It's the same way every year. Yes. It wasn't many years ago when I was riding a herd with them. Well, they should be happy. No worries. Just ride, eat, and sleep. And sing. Oh, don't forget that, Dad. Yes, and sing. <laughs> but that's not bringing the cattle in. And any delay or trouble may mean giving up the red horse ranch. Oh, please, Dad, don't worry today. The boys will all soon be gone. They'll bring that herd in for you, all right. <laughs> oh, listen, Arizona. Not the way that Arizona's working. They won't, sitting in the back of that hoodlum wagon, playing his banjo. Okay. not fast enough. You can get those supplies in the chuck wagon. The boys are waiting for you.
send you up there and help cook it. Why, Alabama, when did you leave the bunkhouse? Oh, really? Howdy, Miss Rose. Uh, what's holding us up, Mr. Carter? Huh? Why, why, Alabama, what are you doing out here? And with Red. Oh, I thought you were staying here. I ain't never missed a roundup yet. I don't figure this is a time for it when so much counts on us getting that hood in the market. No. No, you're not going, Alabama. I told you that I put Steve Bradford in charge of the outfit. But, Mr. Carter, I never felt better in my life. You don't take me for a tenderfoot, do you? But, Alabama, you know you've been ill. You'll get dizzy again. Oh, I don't want you to risk it either. You know, I'm sorry, Alabama. But I promised Bradford and I... I can't change my word to but now. I, I'll go along. I've been training Red for the last three months. He's the best cow horse on the range. I don't see how I can do it, Alabama. I know there's bad blood between you and Bradford. It, 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 well, it wouldn't do. Well, all right, Mr. Carter. I guess that's final. No, you'll be feeling frustrated by the time the roundup's over. I figure that's soon enough for you to do any more hard riding. Uh, get them bedrolls in that trailer there, boy. Mm, Alabama, I think I know just how you feel. Oh, I'd love to go myself. It must be such fun. All the boys out on the trail and... Yeah, Rose. I never thought I'd miss a roundup. Well, come on, Red. Let's go back to the corral. Don't be scared of Tex up there on the fence. He's only singing. Way down that railroad track Look yonder What I see down that railroad track With the black smoke coming From that old smoke stack don't know how bad I feel I got the blues so bad you don't know just how I feel I ain't got a dime and I'm not gonna beg or steal Guitar in the hoodlum wagon, Tex. You'll want it when we get camp tonight. Well, doggone me if there ain't Alabama. Well, up and walking that. around as pert as ever. Well, Come Alabama. here, you old sourdough, you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> boys, it's me. What's left of me? Well, he don't look like no sick man to me. All saddled up and ready to go, I see. We sure was afraid you wouldn't be with us this spring. Well, I'm afraid you're right, Idaho. The old man's set on sending Steve Bradford to boss you. By golly, I never thought he'd go through with that. I never saw nobody like that Steve Bradford in my life, talking Carter into making him foreman of this outfit on the roundup. Yeah, I'd yeah. like to know his game. Nobody knows yet why he's trying to buy every ranch in the valley. Don't even know why he wanted to get a hold of the Red Horse Ranch. Well, I'll tell you, boys. Sooner or later, Bradford's going to get in over his neck. You yeah. mark my word. Sons, to me, you know something you ain't telling, Alabama. Well, I uh, can't say as I know now, but... You boys stand by me, and I figure Bradford's playing a losing game. Uh, you know you can count on us. Yeah. 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 I appreciate that, boys. It sure means a lot. Uh, say, uh, has anyone seen Tenderfoot around here? Why, Dad Carter sent him over to help hitch up the chuck wagon, Alabama. Well, I'd like to talk with him alone, boys, if you don't mind. Well, we'll see you before we push off, Alabama. All right, uh, I'll be over there at the chuck wagon. Come on here now. Don't you go holding back. 
Me can't wait on you. Yeah. I'll tell you now, come on here. Where hey, are we? Hey, looks like Where Cookie's having plenty of trouble. <laughs> Yeah, he can't get that old burrow of his to budge. Need any help, Cookie? Build a fire with that farmer, Cookie. That'll get him started. <laughs> uh, might put a bed of cactus where it'll do some good. <laughs> no, she ain't do no good. Old whirlwind just naturally fly when he wants to. Don't look like he wants to now. Uh, we sure won't ever get started waiting for that stubborn burrow. Listen here, that bureau ain't stubborn. He goes when he feels he good or when he don't feel good. <laughs> don't reckon he ever did feel good, did he, Cookie? Yes, he feel good well, sometimes, well. but I can just look in his eye and see he don't feel good. He just plumb sick. Come on here, whirlwind. Uh -huh. There comes Bradford riding in. Must be ready to hit the trail. Hey, Bob, Cheyenne, Idaho, spread your horses and let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I tell you, fellas, let's lead our horses from the hoodlum wagon and sing them a song as we pull out. Yeah. Yeah. Goodbye, boys. Good luck. Come on. Come on. Well, good luck, boys. I'm counting on you. You'll keep a lookout for us. We'll bring them in on the run. So long, Alabama. We're sure going to miss you. Yeah, it ain't nothing to how I feel, fellas. Well, we'll be riding together soon. Mighty soon. Yeah, yeah. Well, come on, boys. Stretch out. Let's go. Well, Alabama, you're getting plenty of rest for a few days from the way it looks. Take care of Rose for me. <laughs> I'll be waiting here for you, Bradford. We will drive to Dover to the fields of over on our golden wedding day. With the blue ribbons on the land with his shoulder up to the shade. We will drive to the over to the fields of over on a golden wedding day. You and me have got some work to do. Now we're sure Alabama has something up his sleeve. And say, about Steve Bradford. Why did he offer to take charge of Carter's Red Horse outfit for him? We have a feeling that there may, may be more excitement before the roundup's over. <laughs> <laughs>